السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس سیشن وی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ وی کین ایڈجسٹ فریکوینسی اور ہاؤ وی کین کیلکولیٹ فریکوینسی فار کرنٹ ماڈ ایس ایم پی ایس کنٹرولر یو سی تھری ایٹ فور ٹو فور تھری تھری ایٹ فور فائیو تھری ایٹ فور فور دس از اے فیملی آف فور آئی سیز واٹ آر دا بیسک پیرامیٹرس ٹو کیلکولیٹ دا فریکوینسی ٹو سیٹ اٹ پراپرلی اکارڈنگ ٹو آور میگنیٹک ڈیزائن سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ Basically, it is a question from one of my viewers. How we can calculate frequency for UC384245? You can set frequency as per your own requirements. It needs a component that is called RT and CT. I calculated this driver as a 11.6 kilohertz. Let's check it. Then we will see it practically and we will see the difference between all ICs. So it is here. Right now I am using 15 nanofarad capacitor and 10 kilo ohm resistance. I am designing this circuit without any compensation just only I will use oscillator and I am, I am taking its output. To calculate frequency what we need? We need R and C. It is a function of charging and discharging of this capacitor RT and CT that is connected at pin number 4. When we apply voltage to pin number 7 of this IC it will produce 5 volt at pin number 8. Let's check it and then we will continue step by step. I will connect ground voltage at pin number 5 and the positive voltage at pin number 7. I am using this time 3842. When I apply it 12.7 volts, it will produce 4.985 volts. When we will apply 5 volt here, this resistance will control the charging time of this capacitor. Yes, it is here. The technique to select a capacitor that is very simple that we need to use this frequency resistance and capacitance this chart for example I need 1 kilohertz frequency at 1 kilohertz which capacitor I will use if I use 100 nanofarad capacitor that time the resistance will 10 to 15 K like here if I want 10 kilohertz I can select this capacitor that is 47 nanofarad at that time the RT will very low but when we will select low RT at that time small RT and large CT it will increase the duty cycle internal clock the clock cycle will wider so we have to take care for selecting the capacitor to, initi to initiate a minimum duty cycle so we need to select the low value capacitor and high value resistor. To select frequency we must use this frequency resistance and capacitor chart. It is timing resistance vs frequency. So if I want to take 10 kilohertz frequency at that time what I will do I can select this capacitor 47 nano but the resistor value will decrease 3 kilo ohm. While selecting RT and CT components the critical component that is the capacitor because we have a specific value of the capacitor we cannot change capacitor too much so we have to select a capacitor from the chart and we have to adjust the resistor value might be we can use a variable resistor or we can use a combination of resistors but with capacitor we have to select first capacitor for 10 kilohertz, if I will select this 22 nanofarad, the resistor value around 6 kilo ohms. For the same frequency, if I will select 10 nanofarad capacitor, 10 nanofarad, the resistor will around 13 kilo ohms. We will calculate it. If I want to design it at 100 kilohertz, and if I select 1 nanofarad capacitor, here the resistor value around 15 K. So Depending on our requirement, first we have to select a capacitor. As here, I am using 
15 nanofarad and the resistor value I am selecting 10 kilo ohms let's see its frequency the frequency value if the resistor value is above 5 kilo ohms then you will use the formula 1.72 divided by RT CT 1.72 divided by 15 nanofarad 10 raised to power minus 9 multiply it with 10 kilo ohms so it is 11.466 kilohertz 11.466 we can say 11.5 kilohertz 1.72 15 10 raised to power minus 9 multiplies by 10 kilo ohms the frequency is 11,466 hertz we can say it is 11.46 kilohertz now it is 153 153j that means 15 nanofarad and it is uh, it is 10 kilo ohm resistance and I will take output between ground and pin number 6 ground and pin number 6 it is pin number 6 is here so it is 11.57 it will depend on the tolerance so 11.5 and our calculated frequency it is 11.4 so that means it's good and now I will change the IC this IC is KA3842 now I will use 3843 and then we will see the difference this 3842 now I am using 3843 so its frequency will the same its maximum frequency switching frequency is reaching at 11.8 kilohertz the same now I will use UC3844 3842 and 43 have same switching frequency but 3844 and 45 will give half frequency than the 384243 so now the same component the output frequency is giving 5.7 kilohertz this frequency we will divide it by 2 why because 3844 and 45 have a internal toggle flip flop which will divide the frequency output frequency by 2 the switching frequency at uh, the RC pin, pin number 4 will remain same now I will check the pin number 4 is 11.36 11.4 yes but the output frequency will half in 3844 4 and 45 Pin number 4 frequency will remain same but the output frequency output frequency is 5.7 kilohertz frequency is divided by 2 
how much frequency you will calculate the calculation method will remain same 1.72 divided by RTCT but the output frequency will divided by 2 in case of 3844 and 45 the same it is 6 kilohertz the same components so 3844 and 45 will give half frequency than than the oscillator frequency why because the duty cycle so it will provide a dead time by adding internal flip toggle flip flop to divide frequency by 2 if we will increase the resistance the frequency will decrease if we will decrease the capacitor the frequency will increase just only go to this chart it is available in the data sheet if I use 50 kilohertz at 50 kilohertz which capacitor is available with me I will select the resistance if I will use 2.2 nanofarad capacitor at that time the resistor value around 50k we can use this chart so friends I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any questions please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh